welcome to another module in this massive open online course on probability and random variables for wireless communication. So, in the previous module we started looking at Gaussian random variables and the various key properties of Gaussian random variables. One of the important properties of the Gaussian random variable we said is the following thing that is if I have L Gaussian random variables x1, x2, x l are Gaussian random variables with expected x i equals mu i, expected x i minus mu i that is the mean of the Gaussian random variable i is mu i, the variance of the Gaussian random variable i is sigma i square that is expected x i minus mu i square. Further, if I look at the covariance that is we said if I look at the expected value of x i minus mu i times x j minus mu j we said this is equal to the this is equal to the quantity sigma i j and this we said is the this we said is the covariance. Now, we said if I generate a new random variable x which is generated as a linear combination of these Gaussian random variables a 1 x 1 plus a 2 x 2 plus so on up to a l x l. So, this is a Gaussian random variable which is generated as a linear combination or a linear transformation, a linear combination of x 1, x 2 up to x l. Then we said this x is in turn a Gaussian random variable, very interestingly the Gaussian random variable which is generated as a linear combination of a group of random variables is in turn a Gaussian random variable. And we also calculated the mean and variance of this new Gaussian random variable. So, we said this x the most important one of the key property is we said x is this is in turn a Gaussian random variable and the mean and variance of x are given as n this is the mean is summation a i mu i and the variance is summation i summation j a i a or summation i summation over i a i sigma i square plus summation over i summation over j, j not equal to i a i a j sigma i j. So, this is the mean mu and this is the variance sigma square of this Gaussian random variable x which is generated as the linear combination of x 1, x 2, x l using the weighting coefficients a 1, a 2 up to a l. Let us now consider a special case of this linear combination. Let us consider a special case. So, we are going to now consider a special case of this linear combination. So, let us consider a special case of this linear combination where all the Gaussian random variables are 0 mean that is mu i that is expected x i equals mu i equals 0. That is all the Gaussian random variables that we are considering are 0 that is all the Gaussian random variables are 0 mean. Further, let us consider that all of them have identical variance that is expected x i minus mu i square equals sigma i square which is equal to sigma square. So, this is the variance. all the Gaussian random variables have 
identical mean and in fact the mean is identical equal to 0. So, all the Gaussian random variables x1, x2, xl are identical 0 mean Gaussian random variables and further all the Gaussian random variables xi have variance that is expected value of xi minus mu square is equal to sigma i square which is equal to sigma square that is the variance of all the Gaussian random variables uh, is uh, the variance of uh, the variances of all the Gaussian random variables are equal to sigma square. So, these Gaussian random variables are basically identical Gaussian random variables. So, these are basically see because the mean and variances of these Gaussian the means and the variances of uh, these Gaussian random variables are identical. So, we say these Gaussian random variables are basically this mean all the Gaussian random variables have 0 mean and all of them have variance sigma square. So, these are a bunch or a group of identical RVs and further these are identical Gaussian RVs, identical Gaussian random these are identical Gaussian random variables. Further, we are also going to assume that the covariance that is expected value of x i minus mu i times x j minus mu j, since mu i and mu j are equal to 0, this reduces to expected value of x i times x j which we are going to assume equal to 0. So, the covariance is basically equal to the covariance of any two Gaussian random variables the covariance. So, we are going to assume that the covariance is the covariance is equal to 0 such random variables are known as uncorrelated random variables. When the covariance of two random variables is 0, they are known as uncorrelated random variables. So, we are assuming that all the random variables Gaussian random variables are identical and further they are uncorrelated. So, these two random variables this implies that x i. So, this implies that x i comma x j are uncorrelated. So, this implies that the random variables x i comma x j are uncorrelated and specifically for the case of Gaussian random variables uncorrelated also implies independence. This is not true for any random variable, but specifically for the Gaussian random variable uncorrelated the property of unco that is that they are uncorrelated implies that they are independent and remember this is not true for any random variables in general. This is only for the case of Gaussian this implies for Gaussian and only for Gaussian for Gaussian implies for Gaussian this implies independence that is that is two Gaussian random variables are uncorrelated then they are also independent. Therefore, x 1, x 2, x l remember we are saying they are identical because they have 0 mean all of them has 0 mean 0 mean that is mean of all of these Gaussian random variables is 0. All of these Gaussian random variables have identical variance sigma square further they are all uncorrelated any two pair the, if you take any pair of Gaussian random variables x 1 and or x i and x j they are uncorrelated and we said specifically for the case of Gaussian random variables since they are uncorrelated it also implies that they are independent. Therefore, we are considering a group of L independent and identically distributed Gaussian random variables. So, we are considering group of x so x 1, x 2, x L in this context in this scenario x 1, x 2, x L are these are independent independent and mm, 
independent remember we have seen this nomenclature before independent and identically distributed random variables that is each of these has mean 0 variance sigma square and the covariance between these two the covariance between any two Gaussian random variables is 0 which means they are uncorrelated and since they are Gaussian this also means they are independent. So, we are considering L independent identically distributed Gaussian random variables. Let us now again consider x which is generated as a linear combination of these Gaussian random variables. So, similar to before let us consider the new random variable x which is generated as a 1 x 1 plus a 2 x 2 plus a l x l which we can now write using vector operations as a 1 a 2 up to a l x 1 x 2 up to x l which I can write as let me write this as the vector a bar transpose this I can write as the vector x bar. So, this I can write this as a bar transpose x bar where a bar is the vector a 1 a 2 a l and x is the vector or x bar rather is the vector as we can see above x 1 x 2 x l. So, I can write this as the vector. So, I can write this linear combination a 1 x 1 a 2 x 2 up to a l x l as the row vector a 1 a 2 a l times the column vector x 1 x 2 x l which is basically a bar transpose x bar. This is the new random variable x which we saw previously is Gaussian in now, what is the mean of this Gaussian random variable? The mean of this Gaussian random variable x x expected value of x which is equal to mu which is equal to summation i a i of a i times mu i, but mu i we are saying each mu i is equal to 0. So, this reduces to summation over i a i times 0 which is equal to 0 therefore, mu is equal to 0. Since each of the Gaussian random variables x i has 0 mean that is mu i equal to 0. So, e for each random variable x i summation a i mu i is summation a i times 0 which is 0 therefore, the mean mu of the Gaussian random variable x is 0. Now, let us look at the variance. We have also derived an expression for the variance. The variance expected value of x minus mu square and we have shown that mu is equal to 0 is equal to the expected value of x square which is equal to summation over i sigma i square plus summation over i summation over j j not equal to i a i a a i a j sigma i j and remember we said sigma i j this is equal to this is equal to 0 because the covariance is equal to 0 further each sigma i square is equal to sigma square. Therefore, we have the variance this is equal to this is equal to sigma square. Therefore, we have the variance expected value of x minus mu square which is equal to sigma square which is equal to as we are seeing above summation of i a i square sigma square which is equal to sigma square summation over i a i square, but summation over i a i square is nothing but 
the norm. So, summation over i a i square is a 1 square plus a 2 square up to a l square, which is nothing but the norm square of the vector a bar. So, this is basically equal to sigma square norm of a bar whole square. Therefore, for i a d Gaussian random variables, Therefore, for i a d Gaussian random variables x 1, x 2 up to x l, we have x which is defined as a bar transpose a bar transpose x bar, this is Gaussian. Further, x can now be represented as we have calculated the mean, the mean we have said is 0, the variance is sigma square norm of a bar square, where a bar is nothing but the weighting vector. Remember, we have defined a bar as the weighting vector a 1, a 2 up to a l. So, what we have done is we have considered the special case that is all the Gaussian random variables x 1, x 2 up to x l are 0 mean. They have identical variance sigma square, further they are uncorrelated that is the covariance is sigma i j, the covariance is equal to 0. And for the Gaussian random variables, we said uncorrelated also means that these Gaussian random variables is are independent. Therefore, therefore we are con considering a group of i i d that is independent identically distributed Gaussian random variables. And then we said if we generate a new Gaussian random variable, if we consider a new random variable x which is a weighted combination of these i i d Gaussian random variables that is a 1 x 1 plus a 2 x 2 so on up to a l x l, then the mean of x is 0 that is x is 0 mean and the variance is sigma square times norm of a bar square that is sigma square times a 1 square plus a 2 square so on up to a l square and x is a Gaussian random variable in turn with this 0 mean and variance sigma square norm of a bar square. So, this is an interesting property which will in fact come very handy uh, which is in fact very useful when we consider when we analyze uh, various communications the behavior and the performance of various communication systems as well as wireless communication system. So, we have seen a special case of the linear combination of a group of random variables. So, we will end this module here and uh, uh, proceed with other topics in subsequent modules. Thank you very much.